Hello, my name is Bev Burns and I'm a Keystone Technology Integrationist in Elkader, Iowa. Today what we're going to look at is how to use tables to take notes from the web and also utilizing the transparent background and how that can be used. First I'll have you pull up a smart notebook software and of course what's going to pop up with a new slide. The first thing that we need to do for this activity is to create a table. Up in the very top I'm going to have you select the table pull down and then from there we're going to choose click and hold so that we have five boxes highlighted. And we'll pop your table. The first thing that we need to do is what content are we going to be looking for on the web. So since we are looking at current events I want to know the title. The next thing that I'd like is a photo. If there's a picture I want to see it. Next one, um, details. What other details stand out to the student? Now we need to find our research. So now that we have the things in mind that we're looking for, I'm going to turn on my transparent background. I have already pulled up the website that I'm going to be using to get the information from. And it's a site called 10 by 10. But first, let's turn on the transparent background. For the transparent background, I want you to select the View Screens option in your top toolbar. Select from the pull down Transparent Background. Now you'll notice that your smart board is literally on the left hand side, it's wherever you leave it. And off to the side, I have the website that I was talking to you about earlier. Now, for me, I like to use side by side. Now, let's open up 10 by 10. This is a great website for getting current events because as you'll notice, they are sorted by the most current trends online. You can see from the previous hour, the next hour, or history. If you have a specific date that you are looking for, um, you can of course search for the top headlines at that moment. For this example, what we'll do is we're going to talk a little bit about um, summer. Summer looks good. Uh, it's something that's kind of going away at this point. Simple pleasures, your solstice traditions. And let's select your solstice traditions just for this example. Now, as I'm up at the board, I need to know the title. Tables make it so easy to simply take information from the web and place it somewhere else. The important piece is you have to have some type of text in that table for the, the text from the web to overwrite. So with your pen or with your mouse, I want you to select seven strange and wonderful ways to celebrate the summer solstice because that is our title. And we're just going to drag it up to that first box. Notice how it overwrote the text that was there. Now the next thing, we need a photo and from all of the different photos on this report you can go from page to page and again what you'll do is click and hold and drag it to the box. You'll also notice as we go through that there is a green plus that appears when it is ready to drag and drop. Uh, let's keep going. In a lot of cultures the solstice officially the longest day of the year marks the start of summer. Again, take your pen with the arrow selected or with your mouse and click and drag the text and notice the plus that I was talking about is now over on the left in the table and let go. So you can see how taking notes from um, articles online can be fairly easy. To go back to your screen at the very bottom on your toolbar we want to exit transparent background and now notice all of your resources are saved there. Now one of them that I like to do is the source because we need to know where we get information. So let's go back to the transparent background and I'm just going to grab a hold up here and put my source in. Now as we go back we know that the source is here. We have details, we have the title, and now what you can do is grab your pen tools and either start writing out a summary if you're teaching summarization. You could use paraphrasing 
or look at the bigger context. If you are relating the article back to a text, say in a high school English language arts class, what is the, how does the piece of literature connect to the current event? So lots of different ways to use this tool, uh, but it's a very nice tool to have up at the board when you're going through your lesson.